Hi, I'm Nancy Berliner from HPE Technical Marketing Engineering. This demo covers DSCC's Resource Contention Insights, a feature designed to alert you if the CPU or SSDs in your storage array approach saturation and to provide actionable recommendations. Resource contention can occur when multiple workloads are competing for access to the resources on a system and can potentially result in system bottlenecks. If the intelligence built into Data Services Cloud Console, or DSCC, identifies a resource contention on any of your HPE Electra MP block systems, an insight summary will appear in the Data Ops Manager dashboard. In this case, DSCC detected both CPU and disk contention on one of the systems within the last seven hours. Clicking either of the hyperlinks takes you directly to the performance section for the system, focusing on the time period when the contention was detected. Or if you've navigated directly to the performance tab for the system, you can select resource contention insights from the dropdown to check for contention. You can see a graph of the resources experiencing contention to see the trend over time and the activity levels of each resource. On this system, there are intermittent peaks of high CPU while the disks are pretty much consistently busy. When resource contention does occur, we provide recommendations of actions that can alleviate any bottlenecks. For example, you may want to consider adding quality of service limits to volumes that are high CPU consumers or alternately stagger those workloads. If you need more information on how QoS works, there's a link right here to the HPE support page. And critically, if you need to identify the specific volumes causing contention for effective workload-based remediation, you can simply scroll down to view the detailed list. Another approach to addressing CPU contention is upgrading the I.O. modules on the controller nodes of the system. For systems with 8-core or 16-core controllers, if CPU contention is detected, DSCC will analyze historical CPU utilization data to see if upgrading the controller nodes would be recommended. If an upgrade is recommended, the link in the expanded message takes you to a user guide with detailed instructions for performing the upgrade. This includes guidance for adding nodes to a switch system to scale to three or four nodes, and for both switched and switchless systems, replacing an existing 8-core or 16-core I.O. module with a higher core version. This system is an example of one experiencing both CPU and disk contention. For disk contention, similar recommendations are provided, applying QoS limits to the volumes causing the issue or staggering the workloads contributing to it. And the system identifies the volumes generating the most backend I.O. during periods of disk contention and lists them along with their performance metrics. Finally, on a system where no CPU or disk resource contention is detected, a message to that effect will be displayed. You can also troubleshoot potential bottlenecks by reviewing CPU or disk activity from any point within the last 30 days and click on the download button to get either a PDF or CSV version of the analysis with all the relevant details. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit hpe.com/storage.